Okay. We should start? Yeah. You already put it on kick? Um, yeah, it's live. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, welcome to the damn show. And I'd like to uh, announce a sponsor for the show. Uh, we're in 2023, a cat year, so we have two me over here. You know, um, most of you guys dream of having McLarens, and uh, this is the closest most of you bums are going to get to it, this McLaren bag. So this is about $600. Now that I think about it, most of you guys can't even afford this. But I want to show you something. I want to show you something very unique, okay? Well, let's check I- I've always told you H number of money, right? Right. Okay. So look at this bag, man. This bag... Is a cat, and once the cat year is over, it's gone like the wind because I'll have a a dragon stuff in the dragon year. But this bag is orange and black, and this is also the color of GG33, right? Orange and black. So, you know, people think this is probably what I'm doing, what I'm doing, but orange adds up to 33 in numerology, and black adds up to 11. 11 and 33 is 44. 4 and 4 is 8. Give me my money. Give me my money. You understand now? Vibrations mean something. Anyways, brother, how you been? Been really good, man. I uh, haven't seen you in a minute, man. I'm back in Miami, huh? Back in Miami again, man. Just wow, you can't you can't stay away like an ex boyfriend, huh? No, no, no. I'm one of these crazy yeah. Karens, man. I'm out here. I gotta. I'm chasing, chasing. The chasing life. that. Bag, huh? Isn't that bag, man? And how's the mission going? Very well. Very well, man. Very well. So if you were uh, um, a Padawan, people would be impressed with you? Very impressed. All right. So the, ca- t- the council's trying to keep me down right now. Oh, the, council, the council they, won't invest me to they, master. They want, they want to keep you down, man. So tell me, um, what's been going on the past couple of months that uh, makes you so excited? Because you're over here like, like okay. shaking, brother. Yo, shaking. I'm asking you what's wrong. You're like, brother, I'm just making money, so explain. We're right now, the market's printing, basically. So um, this is something... Were Nike's we'll, back? <laughs> just about. <laughs> just about. I mean, Jerome Powell's... So uh, this is something that I said uh, both times, both me and Charlie were here on your stream. We had, I was saying that the Federal Reserve is going to start cutting rates next year. I was one of the first people on YouTube saying that, telling people that we're going to get rate cuts in the back half of 2024. But now that it's now in more in writing and stuff, there's uh, there's hints that there's going to be like six rate hikes, rate cuts mm-hmm. in 2024. I don't. I think that's kind of fake. I think there's going to be four at most. So like six does seem kind of extreme. That seems a, that that would that would indicate that we're in a we're in a crash right now. Like they've they've admitted that the Fed's admitted that they've t- over tightened and things are slowing down a lot. Like the economy's starting to stall basically. I mean, they had an inflation problem under Biden. Uh, in, 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 in all honesty, gas prices are honestly down. Right. But there's a lot of other things that kind of stayed up oh. and didn't go anywhere. One of it is the price of food. Yep. You know, um, one of the tactics that people do when they want to cause unrest is they basically make sure food prices always rise because yep. no matter who the fuck you are, no matter what you believe in, no matter who you pray for, no matter your economic status, motherfucker got to eat. Right. So when it comes down to it, if you really want to cause a revolt, what do you do? You fuck with the food supply. Yep. So um, in Egypt, before they started the Arab Spring in 2011, see how I caught that? Good shit. And when they started the Arab Spring in 2011, uh, what they did before they started all those riots... They cut the grain. Mm. They cut the grain in half. All of a sudden, food prices double, okay. supply and demand. Because no matter what you believe in, supply and demand don't give a fuck. Just like there's always two genders, yeah. supply and demand always works. So when you cut that food supply and the food supply goes up and double, people can't afford food. It's going to be problems. problems it's yeah. going to be problems. But that's how they create the mob. That's how they create problems. Yeah. You know how we, I mean, we, we had already figured out why there, we were going to have in, crazy inflation because remember around the time, this is right at the beginning of, it feels so free to actually be able to say the bug and all these things because on YouTube you get censored a lot and stuff, but um, like we noticed right before, I mean, as it was going down, as lockdowns were happening, a bunch of these kind of storage places for food kept burning down. 
Mm-hmm. We had we had like so we had so we had pig farms like letting on fire like uh, chickens. We had storage for grain. Mm-hmm. We had t- it was almost like right after like during the depression, the FDR was just a, a buying food and burning. That's what it seemed like to me. So I knew something was happening. CIA was busy. They were really busy. We had one of the biggest burning. I mean, it's it's kind of crazy. My and um, I'm originally from California. <laughs> we had like one of the biggest chicken farms just go up in flames. I mean, it was <laughs> massive. The KKK thought the chickens were racist and started fucking raising that shit, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And then they're coming out with like stupid reports now. Like, do you know sixteen percent of the male population eats sixty percent of the meat? Damn right. Proud serving card holding number. Uh, I mean, wouldn't you want the most masculine people in society no. to have the meat? No, as the government, I don't. No, no, no. We're, we're trying to subjugate all the. Ah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. You want all the masculine people to become beta yeah. because a beta ain't gonna come up and challenge you. A beta would rather hold its ankles. Yeah. That makes sense. And and this is why they're going after, like, n- they're going after not just the food supply on food. That's why they want everyone to be vegan. Now, if you got a dietary reason for it, you know, it is what it is. Of course, you know, I'm not hating on that. But, like, you, you know, they're trying to restrict red meat. They're trying to restrict anything that could possibly make you, give you the inkling to be able to fight back and think for yourself. You know, this is why they were pushing the... For such a long, we were just talking about that outside. Yeah, you said yeah. you were on your fourth or fifth booster. Yeah, at least, you know, <laughs> 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 Pfizer gang. No, 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 hell no. I'm selling unvaxxed sperm out here. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, hell, man. No wonder you're living so good. <laughs> <laughs> There's so few of us. There's so few of us. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, listen. If you fell for the biggest psyop in world history, yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> hi, Sartain. Uh, sorry, sorry. I had, yeah. I had to say that. I mean, I gotta feel really proud for a lot. There's a lot. We were just talking about this as well outside that, uh, you know, there was quite a few amount of soldiers that just decided to leave the military because they were forcing them to get the shots, and now they're begging for them back. You mean the soldiers with high IQ levels? Yeah. Who said fuck this job? I'm not taking your shot. Now, see, if it was me, yeah. I would have done it differently. If I was in the military and that was my livelihood, and they're telling me to take the, I would have took it. Well, at least I would have gave him a card that said I took it. Mm. Okay. If I, I mean, if the government is telling you to take a... That's going to possibly kill you. Right. You you really have a moral problem lying to them and telling, yeah, sure, I got it. No, no problem. I don't understand that, bro. I just don't understand that, man. The, these people are trying to kill you, and then you're saying, you know... Yeah, I should have got that fake card, but I didn't want to lie to him. What? Really? That, yeah, I, that, that's, like, that's like saying you want to be fucking faithful to a fucking whore. Right. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You want to cut for the fucking government. Yeah, you, you, you don't want to lie to the liar. Right. And, no, no, you can't yeah. do that. You didn't want, can't steal from the thief. That's right. That's not the honorable thing to do. Of course. And you know why the government doesn't like fucking thieves. They hate competition. <laughs> they, they, they seriously hate competition. I mean, listen, um, when the government took out Kennedy in 63, right. they set up the mob as a patsy. Oh, yeah, yeah. They set up the mob, Ruby and, and all this other guy, Lee Harvey also. Oh, patsies, man. The CIA took this out and they blamed it on the fucking mob. Right. But let's not forget, they took out the mob. They saw what the mob were doing in the 20s. Yep. They're like, you know what, man? This isn't that bad of an idea. And they fucking took the best of the mob. They actually crushed their competition. Right. And then what you have is that you have this bureaucracy in the government that is mafia-like. Hmm. And it doesn't matter who's president, Bush, Obama, Biden. It doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, these bureaucrats stay there. And their ideology stays there. And they're going to do what they want. I mean, listen, brother. I always find, you know, like asking old-timers... You know, especially the ones who went to war for this country. Right. You know, um, Iraq veterans and stuff like that. I'm like, listen, bro. If you knew back then this country would be supporting rainbows. Right. And T and surgeries. And by the way, there's a thousand years and tomorrow there'll be a two thousand because it's whatever the fuck you feel. Um would you have actually fought for this country? Mm. Would you have actually done it? And you, usually I have them shaking their fucking head. Because yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, if people in blue helmets under a unit and mandate come into this country, 
I'm going to the top of whatever roof I have, and I'm taking out as many as I can. Yeah. Flat the fuck out. But if you're telling me... Rooftop Korean. Yeah, exactly. 100%. But if you're telling me that I'm going to go fight for American values, which include sexuality, sodomy, horrorism, nah, brother. I'm not leaving my family to fucking go out there and deal with this degeneracy. Just not happening. Ain't happening. But you gotta go make your money, bro. So I got. I'm telling you this crypto shit, man. Let's go. This crypto stuff. So um, last time, last time we were here, um, last time on Dragon Ball, um, last time we were here, we were well under. I think we were twenty eight thousand dollar Bitcoin last time we were here on uh, your show, Gary. What's that now? Forty four thousand. Woo! Forty four thousand. So we were twenty eight thousand dollar Bitcoin. We were nineteen hundred dollar Ethereum. We're at twenty three hundred dollars. And now that Bitcoin is above like 42,000, the altcoin market, the L1s, that's like Solana, Cardano, Phantom, AVAX, um, GameFi, NFTs, it's all up right now. The Trump, you know those Trump NFTs I told you about? Yes, you did. I remember you. We were buying them for 9% of an Ethereum. They're selling for 25% of Ethereum today. So Ethereum not only just went up in price, they've like, we made almost ah, almost a triple, but like uh, two and a half times on our money on them, and they're continuing to grow. Because, I, like I've said, th- this is why I said this on this show is like you did to, you to, did check the fucking tapes. Check the, the tapes. man said it. Get those crypto. Get those NFTs. It's one of the few ones that I recommend is just because you're going to have a market to sell it to. Because when Trump, when these debates, when he finally actually goes to a debate. Things are about to pop off. And he's going to debate the Santas at some point. Yeah. Because he he's just, uh, I think he just recently decided not to do another one. Yeah, he's yeah. going to debate the winner. He doesn't just want to give all those guys, you know, what's the point of, yeah. you know, going, yeah, you're just going to face the winner. Yeah. Um, listen, this man said this stuff on NFTs. He said this about Bitcoin. He said this about Ethereum. He said all of this. I mean, we also laughed at XRP and hasn't done shit since. And I think it still hasn't done shit. No, nah, no, nah, it's the how that works. <laughs> shout out to the XRP army shout out to the XRP community I've never seen a bigger amount of sheep in my fucking life except maybe at a fucking barn right. you you guys are fucking morons um, this man that goes on my show countless times tells you Ethereum which is up what 50% or something 50% or something uh, 50, 50% from a couple months ago Yeah. 50% and again when I pressed this man to give us something free, something he said Ethereum, I made a post on Twitter. Yeah. And my post said, quote, buy Ethereum, shut the fuck up and thank me later. That's what I said. And it shits up 50%. Ethereum's gonna run harder than Bitcoin, but not right now. It's gonna run hard in the back half. We're right now, we are gonna be Bitcoin heavy for about now till the end of summer. We have the Bitcoin ETF, end of, which end of the summer at the end, the end, end of mid six seven months, six seven months. Where, where's it going? Uh, we're we're gonna probably retest all time highs. Um, I think what's probably going to end up happening, we'll test the re all time high, and then we're gonna dump down back to maybe the forties again or so. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be it's something dramatic. Crypto crypto is we have a lot of volatility in crypto, so that's just normal for us. So like a ten percent drop for the stock market, which is gigantic, by the way. For us would be 15 percent. that's a bear market that's a bear market yeah so 15 percent of crypto ain't shit it isn't shit that's just a tuesday <laughs> it's, a, it's a fucking tuesday you know that's all it really is so um we're looking at we're, we're probably going to retouch the all-time high for bitcoin in the summer i think we're not going to pass it it's just going to go back down mm-hmm. and then afterwards we start ramping up but we have the etf for bitcoin and if i'm wrong i'm happy right that's kind of the beautiful thing is it's like if the prices do higher than i think that is Beautiful, beautiful, which is more money, right? But January 10th. He sounds like a good capitalist, man. Oh, dude, it's beautiful. It's like, if, even when I'm wrong, I'm right. Mm-hmm. Even when I'm wrong, I'm right. But because uh, it's right to it's the running upside. running for politics after this. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'll run for governor or something. Um, no, um, but, um, you know, Bitcoin's probably going to hit some really good prices. Ethereum's going to do really good after the summer. So we have the Bitcoin, we got the Bitcoin ETF happening in January, and then we have the Bitcoin halving, which is basically a, redu- a reduction supply and demand. Like we mm-hmm. talked about less supply in the market, same amount or more demand, prices are going to start spiking. So Bitcoin's going to do very, very well for the next two years. Two years, you guys, two years, and 
do you see anything in the next two years that could possibly take it down to 5k bitcoin to 5k yeah you see anything freezing freezing of the network possibly i mean um uh let me see <sighs> government crackdown maybe yeah I think it's a little late for the government crackdown, but I mean, it'd have to be something internal. It would, uh, uh, the government can just tell banks they can't process crypto, and that's the end of it. Yeah, but it'd be, it'd be, I mean, it'd, it would be a really hard about turn base. But you're right. It's, yes, that's actually Yeah, if, if the United States went fully negative against crypto and they were just coming, like China, like China and stuff like that, like and going after people, if they went really hardcore, mm -hmm. it would crash things down. I think Bitcoin should be worth yeah, five thousand plus. Do you, 10, do you believe? that like again the chinese have shut it down many governments around the world have shut it down yeah do you believe that americans haven't shut it down because the cia might be the right. biggest uh holder of uh bitcoin to tell you the truth like we have we i've i've talked a lot about this with charlie and stuff like mm -hmm. i actually i do believe that so i believe now you say it's to a bitcoiner there it's like like i'm a realist mm -hmm. realist i'm not trying i'm not a maximalist I hold other coins. I deeply, deeply, deeply care about Bitcoin. I like Bitcoin. I own Bitcoin. I bought a lot of it. I bought the lows. Okay. Mo most Bitcoin, like when I when last time, one of the last times I was here in Miami, I went to the the Bitcoin event down here, Bitcoin Miami. Mm -hmm. Ask me how many people told me to buy Bitcoin. I, imagine you're at a Bitcoin event. How many people do you think asked me to buy Bitcoin? Five, ten. Zero. Wow. I'm at a Bitcoin event, Bitcoin Miami. It's the biggest one. It's basically the biggest one of this year. They're all, it's big, it's about all Bitcoins. They're talking about ordinals. Now, one person told me to buy Bitcoin. Now, one person. Every, <laughs> but I, since I was Mr. That's I, crazy, bro. It, That's it, like it, being at a whorehouse and no one opened up to you. Yeah. It's, it's just insane. You know, this is around July, June or July of, of this year. Um, but I'm Mr. I'm, I'm known, I'm known for knowing quite a lot about L1s. I was in the Pulse Chain Hex ecosystem and stuff. So Pulse and Pulse Chain just launched and I, me and all my buddies were very popular. Because every because all these Bitcoiners, they're all they're okay. So you know how there's closeted sexuals, right? <laughs> a lot of them in this city. <laughs> a lot of them. Right? A lot of them in this city, <laughs> right? So yeah. the, the, you know, you know, some of them actually <laughs> pretend to be Muslims afterwards to try to repent for all their sins because Whoa. you know, no, seriously, because once you convert to Islam, all your past sins are forgiven. So the sexuals who have like a conscience, yeah. like, oh, let's go to Islam now because it's all forgiven. Wow. See how that works. Do you think that's why there's so many? Uh, yeah, dude. I mean, Fousey out there praying to Allah and fucking telling him he's bisexual. You know, that's that's like a born again virgin. I don't yeah. understand how that works, but you know, in, in, in people have warped minds. Like people actually think this fiat system is gonna go on forever. That's a warped mind. I don't know anywhere near as much crypto as you. I tell you what, I do know. I know the government wants crypto yep. because once they install crypto and get rid of all this fiat shit, make cash illegal. Did you That's, hear that? Yep. Cash illegal. Early 2030s. So what happens after that is first they put a 5% tax, yep. then it's 10, then it's 15, then it's 25, then it's 55, then it's fuck you. We'll decide if you have any of your money. Mm -hmm. because. That's what it's going to lead to. What the fuck are you going to do? Oh, you're going to protest? Your car's shut down. Now what? Yeah. So this is something the government wants. Do not fool yourself into thinking, oh, the government doesn't want this. No, no. The government actually wants this, and they want it real bad. But they're trying to make it seem like the complete opposite. Yeah, and grassroots. They, yeah, grassroots. Oh, no. This is how we defeat the Federal Reserve. You hear that one? Now, I swear to God, all these early Bitcoin people, they basically said, yo, we're taking down the Fed with this. No, you're I not. Laughed. You, no, you're not. I laughed. They're sucking the bank's dick. Like, I remember the fact, <laughs> like, I remember, like, I, I, I got into crypto, I got into crypto in 2016, mm -hmm. and I remember a time when we were, we were like, you know, fuck the Fed, fuck all this stuff. We were, we're going to make, we're going to make our own financial system. And yep. the moment the banks wanted to get in, the Bitcoiners got on their hands and knees and sucked the dick. That's exactly deep what they that shit, huh? deep throat. And all we got was a two X. I remember it like the, they were hyping it up. The, you know, the banks are getting in. The banks are getting in. The banks came in. Boom. We, we went from 8,000 to 20 grand and then we crashed into a bear market. Then then from there, as soon as we started hitting those prices, um, the the Treasury Department, maybe the, yeah, the, tre the Treasury Department of the United States government um, allowed people allowed a uh, basically a way for you to short Bitcoin. 
and on the exact top coincides exactly when the U.S. government was able to, to, to short it. So the U.S. government shorted it and allowed people to short Bitcoin. 217, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's when I was uh, posting pictures of tulips yep. on uh, Tulip. Twitter. It'd be like, yo. Because uh, if they had not done that, that for, uh, honestly, th- that we probably would have gotten, it, it, felt, it felt like we probably could have gotten 60 to 100,000. That's how hot the market was. It was like, I look. I, I've been. We're on the. We're on the cycle number three right now. We had the 2017, the 2021, and more than likely the top for this next cycle will be sometime in August of 2024. You heard that first. It's going to. It's going to end on the eighth month. This man just told you plus 50 percent uh, two yeah. months ago. Yeah. So I would actually listen to him. You know he's a 33. Yeah. Man, this guy's a 33. Why do you think I keep having him on? <laughs> Hey. I thought we just we just get along. No. Yeah, of course, because you're a 33, you're not a fucking moron. Um, you know, here, here's what it comes down to. Um, one question I always ask people before they, and I've asked you this many times, yeah, yeah. Um, before I let people on here, is are you a millionaire? Because, it, 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 you know, there's too many broke people out here telling people how to make money. Right. Too many of them. Too, too fucking many. many. Listen, listen. I, I could shut down my whole operation. I'll still make money. Yeah. Okay. I, I could shut it down right now. I'll still make money. I won't because I'm a capitalist. This man, honestly, you probably have enough to retire. Yeah, I've been, I've been having. You, you, you have enough to retire, but you know you're still hungry. Yeah. You what, want more. What you a, want fucking more. He wants to. He wants to get to that private jet level. Yeah. I'm a so, man. I want more. I want, I want to conquer. And you're world. supposed to fucking do that. We don't have hand-to-hand combat anymore. They took yeah. that shit away from us. And good thing they did, because I probably wouldn't do the best of that. But when it comes down to it, it's this now. Yeah. This is how you, you plot. You strategize. You find a skill. You know, a lot of people ask me, Gary, how do you know all these people? And I know quite a few people. Hmm. You get good at something, you master it, all of a sudden that opens doors. Yep. This guy knows everyone who's an influencer because he's a crypto master. Yep. He got that skill. People want that skill. They talk to him and that gets them on podcasts. Right. I'm the top numerologist in the world. People want to talk about numerology. They talk about me. If someone wants to stay relevant about numerology, they use my hashtag, even to attack me. Even to attack you. Even yeah. to attack. I want you to think about that. They use my own hashtag to attack me because that's the only way they can get any yeah. any phone. It's, it's because you're a brand. You're a Kleenex. P- people don't say, oh, give me a tissue. Give me a Kleenex. I don't talk about numerology. Give me GG. Yeah, of course. 100%. That's what it is. I mean, you 100%. Yeah. And that's how it is. So I want you guys to understand. How did they reach this man? Dollar cost crypto. YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, everything. Buy right now, you guys. Right, if if just being as honest as I fucking can, we have about three more months of crypto being cheap, and things really start going off. Um, especially around January, if we get the ETF actually passing on time on the tenth, then uh, it's not lost to me that we have that passing there. And then on top of that, we have the Federal Reserve meeting that could happen sometime in January as well. We're about to have the, our next Fed meetings in uh, three days from now. So. Um, Things are about to get pretty hot. Uh, the real estate market is going to start cooking up towards the back half of 24, probably early 25. As the rates keep coming down, we're probably going to end up like three and a half percent by the beginning of 2026. What's if that now? It's at a uh, 5.5, 5.75%, which is pretty high. It's that's oh, compared to the rest of the world. The rest of the world. It's not yeah. high compared to, you know, decades ago. No, no. I mean, the, I mean, historically, yeah, we were like, yeah, we're usually three to five to six in that range there and stuff like that. Even in the early 2000s, I mean, the rates were like 8% and so forth. They were still coming down from like... Uh, 8% green, is a big difference than five, though. Yeah. The Greenspan you know, era started there, there, to there, yeah. zero. I <laughs> mean, uh, listen, when it, when it comes down to inflation and deflation, it's very simple, guys. You, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to understand this. If you have a pizza, okay, right. and you cut it up into eight slices, and then you have that same pizza, and you cut it up into fucking 32 slices, you don't have any more pizza. You just diluted. Right. That's, that's all you've done. So again, the only reason America could play these games is because it has something called the petrodollar system, yep. where it creates money out of thin air with the federal government, 
uh, with Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve loans that money to the government on interest. I don't understand for what fucking reason you would loan the money to the government with interest since you know, it's the government's money. It, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. It's like, whatever, okay, they're fucking con artists, gotcha. So then uh, they put that money in the streets. Now, here's uh, Saudi Arabia's role. Saudi Arabia prices all its oil in dollars. So if you want to buy the, that fucking oil, it doesn't want your yen. It doesn't want your rupees. Yep. It doesn't want your rubles. It doesn't want any of that shit, your euros, Fuck all that shit. It wants dollars. So now you have to go out there and get those dollars. And how do you get those dollars? You fucking create shit in your country and you send it to Uncle Sam. And he pays you in dollars. And now you have the dollars you need to buy the oil yep. to get your economy going. So and then uh, the um, Saudis take that fucking money. OPEC takes that money and they buy fucking T-bonds. T bills with it, so that fucking it's like recycling. It's a snake or a boros. It's it's recycling, okay. Yep. And that system is protected by the United States military. Okay. So it, 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 that's, that's what the money's back. Okay. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and and by the way, that's what Saddam Hussein found out. Yep. Saddam Hussein said in two thousand, man, fuck you. I want my I, for the oil for food program. He couldn't actually sell his money open on the market. Hmm. So he sold it for oil for food. And what he did was he's like, you know what? I don't want dollars. I want euros. It was unprecedented. And no yeah. one did it at that time. And they were the first country. And all of a sudden, uh, they got weapons of mass destruction. Oh, I'm sure you do. It's called the euro dollar. You know, the petro euro. That's what the fuck it was called. Now, the U.S. has lost so much power that there's countries openly who are now trading with other nations in different currencies. So that dilutes the United States' ability to actually control things. Export the export the inflation. There you yeah. go. So without the ability to export the inflation, like my man just said, now you start feeling it more at home. So okay. what, does, what do they do? They have to pull up the rates. And that's exactly, but you pull it up too much, the economy slows down. See, yeah. this, the Chinese say something about inflation. They call it a tiger. They call mm. it a wild tiger. Wild and they tiger. say once the fucking inflation, the tiger's out the cage, it's hard to put the tiger back in the cage. It's genie, that's in the what they, yes, genie in the bottle. That's what they say about inflation. So, again, I didn't go to economic school for this. But I understand how this system works. Right. Because everything has to be cause and effect. Yeah. Cause and an effect. Believe in numerology, religion, whatever the fuck you believe in. Believe in this. Cause, effect, supply, demand. Yeah. That will never change. I don't give a fuck if you're a socialist, a communist, whatever the fuck you are. Those type of things. And here's the fact. That crypto market getting bigger like this every fucking year. See, OnlyFans has probably peaked. A lot of things are fads. Yeah. Crypto's not a fad. It's not a fad. They're it's it's, it's, it's going to be it. They're all converting it. Every country is making their own central bank digital currency. Um, banks are all investing into it. Like, here's what's happening right now is all the biggest institutions, like JP Morgan just, I mean, literally, Jamie Dimon just today, he's like, uh, we're in crypto, but we hate it's. We think it's stupid or whatever. Like, literally trashing it. They're trashing it because they're trying to buy more of it. Mm -hmm. Because supply and demand, limited supply, lots of demand. The market's starting to get really hot. They're about to come up with the ETFs. The, the, the reason the ETFs even matter is because now people with for, for the retirement money, boomer money, can mm -hmm. start buying. Yep. That's the thing. Now everyone, now, now the vanguards, now the, now the fidelities, state streets, the black rocks are all getting their hands in now. And they privately have all been buying. Their CEOs, the, the mm -hmm. top brass, they've all been buying. But now they can get the corporate money in, and then that's how they're going to make money. So imagine, this. so you like if you if you're going to run up a stock, let's say illegally, right? You're going mm -hmm. to do some illegal shit. You buy the stock up cheap, and then you're going to use company or customer funds to pump it up, and then you're going to exit with a parachute. Mm, makes sense. That's what they're going to do, and then that's the, what criminals operate. This is what they're going to do. But this is the, this is the one time in the market where normal people can get in now, make this money as well. It's a giant wealth transfer. 
and and you know the 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 poor and the people who don't pay attention to their finances and the the ignorant are the ones that are going to pay the tab and suffer through this and stuff they're going to use a lot of they're going to misuse a lot of retirement money and there's and if it's not going to be one thing it's going to be another thing there that's what's going to end up happening um let me ask you sure what role does gold have now right now? Because gold seems to be going up with crypto yeah. pretty hot right now. Um, what role does gold have in your mind? I want to see what gold is up for the year. Honestly, I wouldn't say store value, but it's a, it's a, um, because there's, there's things that are appreciated much more than gold and held up a lot better than gold. Um, but gold it will always have value. It will always be changed if if I in a, in a hundred years from now if I find a treasure if I find a jar or a fucking or a, or a gazelle of gold it'll always be worth a lot of money and it okay. typically keeps up with somewhat with value. Um, we're probably we're, what's going on is because there the possibility of war and things going on in the economic sense. People, I mean, it's it's a lot of governments around the world, a lot of private corporations are they're, hoard, they're hoarding of gold right now. Finally, gold's up nine point four six percent this year. Yeah, I think it just no, hit its no, no, I, I want to make something understand something. Sure, that's a huge percentage. That's a lot for gold because you have to understand, gold is what is it 30 50 100 times bigger than the crypto market yeah it's about a 10 now with that it's, it's like 12 trillion dollar market cap 12 trillion what's crypto it's 1.4 trillion okay so it's not even the same ball game yeah okay we're 10th so when, when you have a big big lake like lake uh fucking it's really deep like lake superior yeah it, it takes a lot to get some momentum right when you have a lake like lake Erie that's very thin you can get real big waves. The crypto, the reason you can have real big fucking moves is because it's shallow. Yeah. It's only 1.4 trillion. I mean, yeah. that's not that much in the big picture. Think of a teeter-totter. Mm -hmm. Fat kid on one side and a skinny yeah, yeah, kid on the other. Same, same thing. 100%. Now, when it comes down to gold, 9% move on gold is huge. Massive. It's huge. You're basically saying gold 9%. That is the crypto fucking market. Okay, yeah. Gold going up 9% is the crypto market. So let me ask you this. Sure. You're a crypto guy. Yeah. You make your money off crypto. We get all that. Yeah. Do you believe people should have a certain percentage of their portfolio in gold and silver? And if so, what percent do you think it should be? I, a lot of it depends sort of on age as well. Mm -hmm. a lot of, if you're close to retirement age, probably a little more gold and silver. Um, you probably don't need as much now uh, just because you're going to be in more speculative things and you also have li um, a limit on capital. Mm -hmm. So when you're, when you're a lot younger, you need, you need to be investing in things that can grow fast versus when you're older, you want things to maintain value and steadily go up. Okay. Right? So gold's going to be a lot better for someone that's a lot older. Um, in terms of percentage of portfolio, let's just say for my, I'm 32 right now. 33 is next year. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> um, Getting you know, old, my man. Yeah, Getting yeah. old. It, it would be like 5% or something like that. The thing is, it's like... I, Five? I, that low? That low and stuff like that. I mean, I'm talking about physical gold. I'm not talking about... Because you got to think, it's, as you get wealthier, that's a lot of, that is a lot of ounces. That's a lot of ounces and stuff like that. Especially silver. Silver is very heavy and stuff. Mm -hmm. like, but we'll keep on stacking, you guys. But to tell you the truth is because... like, But, but I'm, I'm like a terrible person to ask this about because I am a person... That's deeply in one asset class, which is crypto. I'm getting into real estate as well, but um, crypto is the main asset class for this bull market. But in a, but once we cash out, because it's very cyclical, we have two years up, two years down. That's usually the cycle. It's a four year cycle. Um, that when that's when we buy real estate. That's when we buy that's more. Pretty volatile silver. for silver this year too. Yeah, what was that right now? It was down. It was down to twenty. Went all the way up to twenty six. Yeah. That's pretty high. I, mean, I think it's all time high. Thirty four, if I remember correctly. Oh, I think it was thirty uh, fifties under the Hunt brothers. Was the yeah the Hunt brothers? No, but they ran it up. I remember they ran it up again in two thousand eleven. It, yeah, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't it wasn't, wasn't the, the it wasn't the Hunt brothers. It was fifty. It was fifty. Yeah, it was fifty then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fifty. You know, listen. Um, it 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 it's it, it's great that you see that no matter what, supply and demand rules all. Yep. Crypto, fiscal gold, fiat. They can break the rules for in fiat currency as long as they got that military superpower, but it's the gap is closing. Right. The the Russians are winning the war. The Russians are attacking all fronts. Mm. 
they're taking Ukrainian cities. The U.S. is having some of the weapons they sent captured and taken back to Moscow and studied. That's why they won't pass the next bill. So Zelensky right now is trying to get that extra 160, and mm. the U.S. isn't buying anymore because nope. I think they know they lost now. They lost. So it's like, over. So it's like we're going to lose it, money. When, 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 in, in the biggest telling sign they lost was number one, if you had Ukrainians, at refugees in other countries, the Ukrainians were asking for the men to be sent back by all the other European countries that had fucking men from Ukraine. Mm. That's number one. They're losing. Number two, do you know they have women right now at on the front lines, not being medics, not being cooks, on the front fucking Back lines? Yes. Wow. Two things like that, you know, it's out. So and the age and the age of the military mm-hmm. is older too. Like mm-hmm. it's, they're all they're all mid, like they're all like late to mid thirty. I mean, bro, bro, the Chinese are just gonna waltz right into fucking Ukraine, and they're gonna impregnate all these women because the men are fucking dead. Literally, all the Ukrainian men are fucking dead. They're gone. And their country is going to be gone anyway. Congratulations. Can fucking congratulations. You fucking were a, a, a American fucking puppet. You fucking went out there and you fought for shit that's in your, not in your best interest. You could have gave up the Russian-speaking part of the fucking country. Kept half of it. Went into fucking NATO. Kumbaya, everyone's happy. Everyone gets what they want. Instead, people are dead. Mm. War is always the same thing. Old people arguing, young people fucking dying. Yeah. Never fucking changes. And you know what? Doesn't change at all. Fucking people's stupidity. Yeah. So I'm telling you right now. I told you last time. Ethereum, Ethereum, Ethereum. This motherfucker is telling you Bitcoin this time. Go yeah. into it. Yeah. Right now is the not the last hurrah, but like. We're gonna have two more dips before we're we're just off into like cra- we're into like crazy prices. Um, Bitcoin. If we, uh, hopefully we can catch Bitcoin, maybe back. Maybe we can go back down to forty one thousand or thirty nine thousand for a little bit. A great time to buy it. Um, but so forty one thousand is a good time for to buy in your opinion. To, to buy, yeah, because if we, if we get a bit of a dip down, then that'd be a great time to buy. But we may not get the opportunity because we're just already so close to January tenth for the ETF passing that that's kind of the hype. But eventually, there's going to be a dip after that, and that'll be another opportunity. And then after that, it'll, it'll, it'll recover up and keep going up because then the hype will start about the Bitcoin happening. But during that time, like watch this. So low to low, right? Bitcoin's all time low for this cycle mm-hmm. is fifteen thousand eight hundred dollars. Ethereum's Ethereum was eight hundred dollars. We're at twenty three hundred. That's really only two, maybe three x at most, mm-hmm. right? But for Bitcoin. It's fifteen thousand to forty four grand right now. So Bitcoin's out pumped Bitcoin, um, up put out pumped Ethereum. Ethereum's a lot smaller, almost half as smaller and stuff. So it's kind of the whole lake, like Lake Superior to something else. It's a lot smaller. It's a lot. It should actually be out gaining a, a Bitcoin right now, but it's not because all the interest is on on Bitcoin right now. That's an opportunity. So that's why I'm I'm heavily stacking Ethereum right now and other altcoins because once it turns over to Ethereum, it goes into more of an alt season. We're like there's coins in the game price sector like Jewel. Oh, we got Jewel, uh, RBW token. Um, what else do we have? IMX, um, Alluvium. These these coins are like just exploded in price and stuff. I'm up massively on these like four to ten times money on these coins. Some of these gotta be pumping dumps. So, some of them, some of them are. Some of these are actually like alluvium. That, that's got that's got real legs and stuff. But we mm-hmm. have to see if they actually have product because these are these are pro, these are games that are going to have like mechanics in, in their own coins, their own ecosystems and stuff. But yeah, typically like like a bull market, they're gonna they're gonna be really hot for two years and then crater. Yeah, but we but you make the money in them now, you know, you know, pump not, not pump, pump and, and pump and dump, man. Well, okay. So if you have any questions for my man, this will be the time. Oh yeah, yeah. I usually don't go into the chat, but I mean, I guess you're lucky, son of a bitches today. I'll do it. So if you have any questions for my man over here, let's hear him. Uh, what about NFTs? The Trump NFTs, thousand thousand percent. There's pudgy penguins. I can't believe I'm saying that, but pudgy penguins are pretty decent. There's a talk of there being if you hold it, you're gonna get an airdrop of a brand new token. Same thing like what happened last um, in 2021. There was a drop. There was an um, an airdrop for a token called Ape. When you had the, when you held the board Ape tokens, the best plan of action is to wait a couple days and then sell them. Basically, all of them. 
um, because the prices will be high. Um, I think the same strategy is going to happen for this Pudgy Penguin token because they're basically going to revive. Say that five times. Pudgy Penguin. Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I would do it too, you know. Like, there oh, you go. Yeah, yeah. I'm competitive, but I was like, all right. But like the Pudgy Penguins and stuff, um, the thing is now, look, these things were a joke and now they've they shut up. There, there was a collection in Walmart. I mean, this is, you asked me NFTs, we're talking about ridiculous shit. I mean, like, I'm, I'm in the crypto market, but NFTs are re- kind of ridiculous, but. I do teach people about him. I have an NFT course as well that we're like currently teaching right now. There's you, you can't get access to it because it's kind of as soon as we only sell it for a small window for a small mm-hmm. class and then it's closed. But um, Pudgy Penguins is one that's going to do really well. People who hold the Pudgy Penguins or any of the underling NFTs are all going to get airdrops for tokens mm-hmm. later in the cycle. That'll probably be a lot of money. Um, I think people added up if you had if you I mean if you held any of the like the board API club or the the kennels or any of the other stuff mm-hmm. I mean people have made like tens of thousands to like hundreds of thousands of dollars off the airdrops and airdrops are basically because you hold this mm-hmm. imagine I just send you some coins in the mail you're like wow free coins yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's like, it's like basically thank I you I know how it works yeah thank you for supporting us and boom there you go you get tokens um, other in terms of other NFTs. Um, we're still looking for like new collections, but it's basically looking at collections that were here that may still have a popularity and then investing in them. Um, but that's what I would see. The NFT market is going to get hot again. Blur looks rare. It looks like Blur is probably going to overtake OpenSea. OpenSea is the main market right now, but Blur is just doing it at a much better rate. They're mostly on Ethereum, and um, it looks like they're probably at some point going. They're, they're going to expand into other L, other systems and other L ones mm-hmm. in order to sell NFTs. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, the the guy who's tweeting the most in the chat room is sitting right there. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, answer any of your fucking questions? <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> a- a- any- a- anyways, um, a couple questions. Sure. Uh, talk about Fed now. Woo, Fed now, man. Yeah. So uh, basically, we're gonna get the rollout of Fed now this year, and on, on, I mean, in 2024, which is a dragon year. Same year, the Jerome Powell. He's a dragon as well, like you've told me. Um, Sounds like my talking points, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but it's but it's the truth. Mm-hmm. Like we're, we're like the Fed. The Fed's gonna start rolling this out, but it's gonna be a kind of a bad rollout because they need crisis to make people use it. So, oh, I think they're gonna get it. Oh, well, we'll have we'll have to see what ends up happening. But like, mm-hmm. but like, crisis is gonna have to happen, and they they need to start printing money again. You know, the um, the Kenyan president said, um, "Get rid of your dollars in the next two weeks. Something bad's gonna happen." Just when. A couple of days ago, mm, interesting. he said uh, there's going to be an event mm. and things are going to change. Uh, there's also a rumor that BRICS is coming out with their own currency. We'll have to see that. I mean, I just I can already hear the eagles. The eagles already. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, let's go What's down. We need to bring freedom to Saudi Arabia. Okay, someone said here no responding to Tavit. That's fine. Oh, let's see. Uh, Gary, I am born the same day as you, except two th- 2004, so obviously you're not a 33, so yeah. sorry, brother, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that January 7th can only take you so far with the sarcasm. You have to, have to <laughs> get some substance actually behind it. But Let's I'm from see. Jersey. <laughs> there you go. Uh, your opinion, XLM. Trash, same thing. I mean, they they, they, back, they basically oh. uh, backed the... So if Ukraine falls, they're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not say, say that again. They so they're they're the main system. So they're going to be the system used for the central bank digital currency of the Ukraine. And then the, literally a couple weeks later, they get attacked by Russia. So if they go down, they're no longer going to be the network for for the Ukraine anymore. Ah, so there is a way to actually short the Ukrainians. Yeah, you could short. You have to short XR, I mean, XLM and stuff. Yo, like Russia, you hear that shit? Now, not only can you make a fucking support your boys, you can fucking be a patriot, be a true comrade, and short it. <laughs> I mean, shit, man. That's that's beautiful, actually. Yeah. If I was a Russian, uh, I'd definitely do that, man. Yeah, but I wouldn't short it just like right now. You no. you, you wait until the news shit. Those Ukrainian the, lines are collapsing, bro. Yeah, you got they, they, they almost got Robonitinov. They're about to get a Divka. I mean, okay. they, they they've literally pinjured these guys oh, to shit. the point where they have to pull their troops out, or they're gonna get encircled pretty soon. And when you get encircled, at some point you lose. Right. That's just how fucking war works. 
Um, you know, it's interesting because I, 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 I really don't like war, but I love war strategy. Right. You know, it, it is what it is. Let's see if you um, people put anything interesting uh, so I can mention this to the guest. Sure. Let's see. Birthday, August 15th, 1997. What do you think? <laughs> I mean, you're the numerologist, my guy. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Nah, you ain't getting no fucking reading. Try again. Next, uh, leave the world behind. I'm, I'm trying, brother. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Let's see. GG33, do you know any Masons? Yeah, I got about 100 Masons who are my students. And they all said they learned more from me than the Freemason. They actually told me, my Mason students, that yeah. Masonry started making sense to them after they got my knowledge. Mm. So how about that? Okay, Gary, why Putin born on the 221st day of the year? No, he's born on the 220th day of the year. Get that shit right. Uh, let's see. Wow, interesting. That's not an actual question. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> interesting enough. Gary, prop me up so I can defeat uh, Third o- Ox. What the fuck? Okay. Call Baked Alaska. He's crying. Yeah, I, I'm sorry for what happened That's to Baked Alaska. Um, but my injury is way worse. I can't fucking walk. Uh, let's see. Best way to get started and educated on the crypto. Talk, talk to this motherfucker right here. Dollar cost crypto, cultivate crypto. We're, we're going to be doing the crypto mindset courses again in on January. You're literally the first people we're telling. I'm telling this. To. I haven't mm-hmm. even said this anywhere on YouTube, but mm-hmm. we're going to be back here the first week of January, right before the ETF happens and help people. You, you, you got to get a place here by now. Yeah, right, and we gotta, I mean, yeah, I'm here. I'm here so often. Now. You're, you're here so often. You might as well get a fucking studio with two fucking beds in it. Yeah. And you'll probably save money that way because I know you're spending fucking money in Airbnbs. And I know you're not staying at the Motel 6. No, no, I'm staying at the Motel 6. No, you're, 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 you're staying at some nice yeah, places at yeah. Brickle. Yep. You're paying about three to 400 You're fucking doing it for like a week straight. Yep. You can afford to get a fucking place here. The, the difference is, do you want to stay at Brickle with all the influencers and all the degenerates? Or do you want to come to Sunny Owls where, you know, you got peace and quiet? Yeah. yeah. You know, respectable. Respectable. People neighbors. who've been invited to the White House. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. Let's see. Any other questions here? Gary, any updates on the New World Order? Uh, <laughs> they're still evil. <laughs> you know, that hasn't changed. <laughs> Gary, 33,000, and I'll run it up on that Homo Destiny. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Let's talk about Destiny for a little bit. Oh, here we go. <laughs> um, so, uh, Destiny had an open relationship with uh, Melina, is her name? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Melina is born 826, uh, no, 817. 1998 she's a tiger right. you knew she was gonna fucking do this to you she's born on the fucking eight day so you know she's about that bag and that's why she was with your dumb ass right. and everyone fucking told you this from sneeko to myron to everyone who fucking wasn't blind on fucking social media yeah. so you basically proved that what the fuck you believe in being a fucking blue pill cuck doesn't actually work because as little as I thought about you, and believe me, brother, it's hard to think any less of destiny. It's hard. But it is possible because the 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 actual she fucking left you for, that's pathetic. Did you see a picture of this guy? No, dude, I haven't. Uh, bro, so, some blonde dude, right? Bro, he, he looks like he weighs 120 pounds. Uh, he yeah. looks like, you know, some fucking... Really? And, and, and she literally left an influencer who has... A lot of pull for some reason. For some, I, I, I went with you for some reason. And for some reason, reason, you, reason you know yeah. what I'm saying. Um, maybe he sucked off the right guy. Who the fuck knows? But you know he has a lot of influence for some reason, and she left him for a broke, 120 pound guy, who looks like he's a 12 year old boy. Uh, do, 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 do you understand how bad you look right now, dude? Yeah. Do you understand how bad you look? I mean, listen, I'm embarrassed for you. I'm embarrassed for you. I don't even like your bitch ass, and I'm embarrassed for you. Right. You know, this this is disgusting. You really need to reevaluate your life. You have some money, which means you have some fucking options, you fucking moron. So now it's time to get rid of all this liberal shit because it clearly doesn't work. Yeah. This is the end result of supporting liberalism, feminism. Your bitch lives you for a fucking. 
Bars. That was bars, bro. <laughs> but it's true, though. I mean, but everyone, everyone told him. Everyone, but like this whole open relation, like you, I, it could work maybe the other way around, or if the guy's messing around, but he still has his chick at home or whatever. But like, but if the but the the disrespect of having the female going out, like th- there's no way if, I, if if you're going like most men, if the woman's out there trying to bang a guy every night, she will bang a guy every night. She wants to, yeah. If she wants to, a guy. Could have not as many shots and stuff. Destiny was out here, was out here having sex. He was like getting with these Twitch chicks and stuff like that. But it's just, but you 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 put her you put her on this fucking pedestal. You know, this is something that I teach my own guys is that you like you have to be very careful if you ever put your your female on social media and it's got to be something you guys talk about and there's got to be like there's got to be rules within and stuff like because it could be used against you. You, know, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful with that. Like, um, like having your woman in your business and stuff. There's like, oh, you, oh, you know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, oh, take that fucking dagger out of me, bro. <laughs> A woman in business. L- listen, listen. If you have your woman in business with you, here's what's gonna happen. Mm. She isn't gonna like the fact that you talk down to her because some you're the boss and she's the quote unquote employee but she's also your girlfriend and wife so now you have emotions and feelings involved where it should be nothing but logic and experience so when you have that thing crossed all of a sudden you as a man you can't make the best decisions because you have to think about someone's emotions Hmm. and there you have one of the problems the second problem is women get stressed and they get more masculine they start fucking yelling see you know what happens if you yell at a woman all the time she starts yelling back at you. Right. You know, that's that's what happens. That's why as a man you can't yell all the time. As a matter of fact, it's the woman who should yell more. The woman should yell more. I'll give you an example. The woman who yells at my kids all day. Sometimes they listen, sometimes they don't. But all I have to do is yell once and they're paying attention. Because like Napoleon said, you go to the opera every day, it's not a big deal. You go once a month, it's an event. It's an event, yeah. There's a difference, and people have to understand. You have to play your life in chess. Like, for instance, a lot of these uh, influencers, and I see my man over here is one of them, they like to flex the Rolex around. And again, I want to be a little bit different. I got an NBA championship hey. ring. So, uh, so again, I like to do the same thing. I flex more than most of these people. The fact of the matter is I do it in a different way. Right. I can take a picture like this by myself and everyone's going to know who the fuck this is because they know who the fuck this shit belongs to. A Rolex? Shit. Dime a dozen. Right. So, but at the same time, you're still flexing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it it, it is what it is. There's different ways to peacock. Uh, 100%, man. Some people flex by having 20 fucking bitches around. Me? I don't want fucking that many fucking broads around, bro. They're fucking crazy. And let me tell you guys something out there. There's red pillars who complain about women being crazy, which they are, and then they tell them to get breast implants. I'm like, you think the silicone is going to help their mental state? <laughs> and there's guys out there who talk shit about women, and then they tell them to take birth control. You, you, you think the birth control is going to help the woman stay sane? No, it's going to do the complete fucking opposite. Right. You're fucking giving an emotional creature more reason to be emotional, and then you're fucking crying when she fucking does it. How about pull the fuck out? Don't make her take that shit. Right. You know, it, it, the, uh, this one woman, fucking extremely rich, very fucking rich, was talking about plastic surgery the other day. Mm. I'm like, yo, girl, you already got your bag. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, I just want it. No, 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 no. I never even tell my woman to wear makeup, bro. Yeah. You know, um, at the end of the day, there's too many people who want to pretend they're somebody. And there's not enough people out there who are actually doing the work to justify being somebody down the road. Right. And if you actually listen to experts in the field, and this is... Quite frankly, expert appeal. You know, I've been doing this for a while. Uh, I have one crypto expert. You talked to him on the phone that one yep, time. Yep. But he doesn't want to be public. He doesn't want to be in the spotlight. He just wants to be in my group and give people calls. Shout out Big House. Yep. And, you know, that's it. He doesn't want to do it. I've been searching for people who are actually good at this for a while. 
most of the people in this game, you gotta admit, they're frauds. Yeah, they're most almost all of them are frauds. What percentage? Ninety percent. No, no, no. I'm being generous here. Uh, 98, 99% of people. 98% of the people in your space are frauds. Now, are you saying that because you're, they're your competition? No. Or is that because you actually believe that? I actually believe that. So, I mean, there, like, there is competition. There's good competition. But most most of them are hiding behind um, basically a, like a cartoon character, a fake facade and stuff. Like, they're, they're, not, they're not out there in the public, mostly because... A few of them because of jobs, but most of it is basically because they're trying to get away with some scam, launch a project, run away with the cash, play some sort of thing like that, or um, basically create some sort of group in order to extract money from them effectively, right? And uh, the reason they won't show their faces is because then they're, they, they can be held not just responsible, but like they can be held accountable for some of the things. If, they, if I keep saying that this is going to happen. <laughs> Logan Paul. <laughs> yeah. I'm, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Um, my bad, man. My, my bad. I'm sorry. And if they're if they're private, they also don't just show any lifestyle. So they can they can take a they can just take pictures off the internet and show. Look what I'm doing right now. And you'll never see it. And like, wow, you're in Dubai. Wow, you're here. Why you're there? And they're never and they're not even there. They're in their fucking mom's basement. They're just trying to trick someone in order to like charge them a certain amount of money to get cash. Crypto out. zoo. Yeah, yeah. It just it's it's bull it's bullshit. So. Um, this is why, like, I mean, most YouTuber, like, watch it. This is the tr- this is the fucking fact. Ninety nine percent of the YouTubers you watch are broke. The brokies, they're I, straight I, up broke. I, I can attest to that. Um, there's people who are yeah. YouTubers who um, go on Joe Rogan, and all they try to sell is their book for nine ninety nine. Yeah. Pathetic, pathetic. If this man got on Joe Rogan, bro. Uh, what three three and a half million courses in a week? Yeah, probably. Like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> something, ridi- something ridiculous. So, something ridiculous. Something ridiculous. I get on Joe Rogan. I'm most likely gonna sell that, if not more. Yeah. Okay. Very very easily. I'm already fucking pulling fucking crazy numbers. I mean, you're in my Discord. Yeah, I mean, your Discord. You're doing, that's it's growing. It's one of the fastest Discords I've ever seen grow. It's uh-huh. insane. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> only a year old baby one year old anyways brother listen i always appreciate you having you on no problem uh tell people again how they can reach out to you you can find me on twitter instagram and youtube at dollar cost crypto i'm verified everywhere i've got a blue check mark make sure that you're following the real me there um here's something with sc- scammers they'll make Ooh. they'll make fake accounts trying to try to like Ooh. hey let me let me sell you into my group and then they charge you two thousand bucks, and then it's fake. Or like, because like one thing that we do with our courses when we actually teach people is so the, uh, there's two ways you can get like we have a we have a we have a group called the Citadel. It's ninety eight dollars a month. That's the only th- group that's a monthly subscription at all. The courses are like very private, bespoke um, training for people to actually learn how to basically learn fundamental and technical analysis. We only do it once or th- one to three times a year at most and stuff so on average we've been doing it three times a year and we're not doing another one until january so uh there's there's i mean i hear like every every other day and stuff like that somebody's got scammed out of like a thousand or two thousand dollars pretending to be me or pretending to be my business partner because they're trying to get in and it's, it's not real guys be careful i literally have fakes three four you know the interesting thing about youtube uh, i mean on youtube um twitter yeah is I would be shadow banned and there would be people pretending to be me and they go to the shadow banned accounts, which have like a thousand, two thousand. You you really think I would have a thousand and two thousand followers? That's that's the first mistake. OK, right. that that would never happen. Even if they suspend my account. The next day it's going to be a five thousand, yeah. whatever account I open. So I would never have such a low account. Number two, I'm not going to DM you love and light. I feel a need to give you a fucking reading. <laughs> uh, what? That sounds like a chick. What? It, it, that's what they fucking do. They de- like it, anyone, someone who follows me. The fraud follows them right away. Yeah. Then he DMs them love and light, and then he's like, um, w- w- I feel a need to give you a reading. Uh, and then people ask you, do do we need a purchase? Like, no, but you have to give me a donation so I can uh, give money to the orphanage. I swear to God, people oh. it, 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 give me twenty, fifty, and they do it on IG. They do it on like all these other things. Yep. I'm gonna make this clear. I hope you fucking. And I hope you die a fucking painful death. 
you fucking pieces of fucking garbage. I want you to know something. I'm making this fucking public. Mm. Um, I'm going to be an extremely rich man. I'm already rich. I'm going to be an extremely rich man. I'm very vindictive. I will spend big money fucking finding you. Trust me, if there's any legal way to fuck your life up, if your mom cheated on your dad, if there's something out there, I will find it, I will expose it, and I will make your life a living fucking hell. I hope the fucking 500 to 1,000 a month you're scamming off my people is fucking worth it because I'm going after your fucking bloodline. Mm. It's, 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 it's just unfucking believable And then again, if... It, it, if they had put as much work in just their own thing, they'd actually have to be successful themselves. It's it, it, it's absolutely and to the people who are sending these idiots money, guys, do you really think a multi millionaire is gonna DM you as soon as you follow him talking about yo? I feel an urge to give you a reading. <laughs> I, I, I mean, come on! I feel an urge to give you a fucking reading. What the fuck is this? A whorehouse? Let's be fucking real. I'm not going to be in your DMs asking you for fucking money. Right. I will never fucking do that under any circumstances. Before you contact me, I'm going to be in your DMs. Be like, Yo, I need a donation of 20. Are you out your fucking mind? I spoke fucking 10,000 worth of weed a fucking month. I'm going to be in your DMs for fucking 20. <laughs> oh, my God. Stop being stupid. Stop being fucking stupid. And I want people to understand something. The Rothschilds are not our fucking enemy. The main enemy are fucking ignorant people. Ignorant people who love their fucking oppressors. Ignorant people who will fight you for trying to unlock their fucking mental chains. They will consider you the fucking enemy. Because they have low IQs. Mm. You get rid of all the low IQ people. Utopia. Yeah. You fucking topia. Because guess what? We're not going to be fighting amongst ourselves. The idiots are gone. The fucking adults in the room are going to get together and be like, Oh, why are all these banks Zionist friendly? Hmm. That's, you know, they can cut that part out on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but this is kick. Anyways, any final words, my friend? Uh, dollar cost averaging and get getting crypto right now, brothers. Because man, um, you got to get in now before when it went to all over the news. It's too late, and you're going to be excess liquidity. Yeah, when your mama starts telling you about Bitcoin, it's too late. It's a little late, you know. And that's what happens, uh, you know, when it reaches that p -p peak. That's usually when the plebs start talking about shit. Yeah, that's when you know you're in trouble. Anyways, um, hope you gain some value. And if you didn't, that's okay, because I do this stuff for entertain my fucking self. <laughs> <laughs> All right, later this here. has been a GG33 production. Out.